Well, as shocking as it may seem, there is more to planet Earth at the moment than Donald Trump. Not much, but there are a few things to squeeze into the mix, such as actual issues for POTUS. Rest assured, however, we will not be ignoring the 80,000-pound, well-coiffed gorilla in the room. Let us loose the political animal, then, for this Monday. And let us welcome back Newsmax chief correspondent in Washington, John Gizzi. John, after all that's happened this weekend, Donald Trump with his comments, the tweeting back and forth, red state basically bailing him out and getting him out of and appearing in front of all these people. What are you hearing inside the beltway about this war going on between the Donald, Republicans, and even Fox News? Well, it all depends on who you talk to. For the most part, Republicans that I've been talking to would echo what Governor Kasich of Ohio said. Uh, they don't like the tone, but they're not going to go overboard in condemning him. He's a Republican candidate, like everyone else. He was on the top tier of the varsity team of debaters on Thursday night, and it's likely he will stay there for the next round at the Reagan Library. On the other hand, I would be less than honest if I didn't say that Trump is now under fire. And many people see that his replies and the growing anger coming from his headquarters is not unlike that of Ross Perot before he got out of the race when he could not take a lot of Indonesian criticism of his tactics. That's not my opinion. That's the opinion of Ed Rollins, veteran political consultant, who was Perot's campaign manager. Now, we've all talked about the debates, and everybody agrees. Carly Fiorina did the best job out of the JV debates. Is there any discussion going on? Because let's face it, we have more debates to come here. And after Donald's comments about women, to see Carly Fiorina sitting up on that main stage with him in the next round of debates would be fascinating indeed. Is there any thought process going around about how she may be able to go up against the Donald? Well, it's a lot more than thought process. Remember, uh, on Thursday night, I talked to a group of neutral observers, people in the press, colleagues of mine, Republican consultants who didn't have a dog in the race, and uh, even a presidential historian, the common denominator being neutrality. One of the things everyone agreed on was that Carly Fiorina shined at the kids' table and is likely to move up. In addition, the other point of unanimity among our little Newsmax focus group was that Rand Paul did not shine. Indeed, was very whiny that night. And that's not a crack against him, it's just reporting on how he appeared. Uh, it is likely he will be bumped and Carly Fiorita will move up to play for the A-team. All right, a couple minutes we got left here. Hillary Clinton is now starting to talk about the issues, and her latest regards basically a free, quote-unquote, college education for everybody. But the one thing that still snaps me, John, and I got an awful lot of mail over the weekend from people saying, wonderful, Mrs. Clinton, now just tell us how you're going to pay for it, right? <laughs> exactly. I think what she's doing is she's feeling the burn. That's Bernie Sanders. Look, the former self-avowed socialist mayor of Burlington, Vermont, and now uh, U.S. Senator, uh, is running with a very strong left of center bent that includes government paying for many things to take the burden off the individual. The problem is who pays for it down the line has not yet been discussed. She is increasingly moving to the left, first to help keep Elizabeth Warren out of the race, and now to kind of put out the fire started by the burn. Uh, I think you're going to hear a lot more of things like this, and the idea of womb-to-tomb uh, education is only the beginning. Got about 30 seconds left. Politico today. Sandy Berger, the former White House National Security Advisor, with a column, yes. a no to Iran means no forever. There is no later. This is the end of the line. This deal must be passed. Do you think he's making enough of a, of a plea, if you will? out there because it seems as if that this is going to pass that republicans can't find enough votes against the president well i want to tell you something um, when you see what members of congress are saying and i've talked to several members before congress adjourned they're already feeling the results back from town meetings congressman barbara comstock of virginia said people are very nervous about dealing with the tehran regime or the possibility that Iran could somehow develop a nuclear bomb and they're not assuaged by the arguments of the president 
or Secretary of State Kerry. I have a funny feeling they're not going to be assuaged by the arguments of Mr. Berger. I think as well. John, always a pleasure, my friend. We thank you so much for joining us. Uh, keep your sanity inside the Beltway, will you please? <laughs> I'm working on it. It's a full-time job here in Malfunction Junction. All right, John, thanks so much for joining us. Talk to you soon. All right, let's give you something to wear. The cap that Donald Trump's been wearing at campaign stops, Make America Great, the slogan, now a sensation. In fact, sales of this cap off the charts. You can get your very own Make America Great Again cap, a $25 value, free with this offer. Just pay shipping and handling. That's all you need to do. Go to Newsmax.com forward slash Trump cap or call one 800 Four three five four three five zero four eight five four three five zero. See, I'll get that number right, and you'll go ahead and get your cap too. Stay with us. The hard line continues.